A new coroner's report says a 24-year-old Las Vegas woman found dead in cryotherapy chamber died from lack of oxygen. The case is drawing attention to the use of super cold gases as a health treatment. Customers enter a chamber wearing a bathing suit, gloves and slippers immersed in sub-zero temperatures for about three minutes. This is very bizarre to me. It is a fast-growing industry with little oversight. Maria Villarreal looks at how Nevada wants to change that. Promoted as a game changer for both professional athletes and everyday customers, the chilling cryotherapy industry is heating up. You enter a chamber cooled below negative 220 degrees with liquid nitrogen that's colder than any other temperature recorded on Earth. You're pulling the blood from your extremities, and as soon as you jump out, that blood goes back out, detoxifies, picks up nutrients from your organs, and sends it all out to your body. Chelsea Aki worked at Rejuvenize Spa in Las Vegas as a co-manager. She was using the chamber after hours by herself when she died over three weeks ago. Tuesday, the coroner confirmed she suffocated. The whole thing's just a shame. Richard Harris represents Aki's family and is investigating whether technical problems with the cryosana led to her death. This uh, needs to be regulated. It needs to be looked at with a close amount of scrutiny. So a lot of ways that it's advertised is like... It, an ice bath on steroids. David Levy owns Sub-Zero Recovery with locations in San Diego and Las Vegas. You start to see the average consumers coming in and the people that have been dealing with chronic pain for years and they have no way to deal with it. They finally come try something new and they see a relief in their pain. But doctors like David Schechter are skeptical of the claims. At this point, I've seen no well-constructed scientific research or evidence supporting its use. I have concerns about this. Levy has customers sign a waiver so users know they're taking a risk if they have high blood pressure, diabetes, heart, or other breathing problems. Their blood pressure may go dangerously high to keep them warm or dangerously low as a result of blood pooling in their extremities. And I don't think that the supervision is there at these facilities to make sure that people are safe. Levy insists at his facility customers are never left alone. The Food and Drug Administration says they don't regulate the cryotherapy industry because business owners don't promote this device for medical purposes. So there really is no regulations of any sort over this business at the moment. Um, which could which be, is a problem though, isn't it? It could be because there's nobody specifically training each technician and each business owner. I think that the way that the industry is going is that it will continue to grow with regulations or without them. Because this industry is so new, most states still don't require special permits or training for cryotherapy. But in Colorado, they do require that a medical professional be in the room when the session is happening. Gail? Thank you, Maria.